When it comes to exceptional Westerns, enthusiasts have a wide array of choices at their disposal. Among the most widely acclaimed in recent times is the 1993 blockbuster Tombstone. Portraying the narrative of Wyatt Earp and the iconic gunfight at the OK Corral, this film has garnered a special place in the hearts of genre aficionados and movie enthusiasts alike. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting video. Number 1. When a drunken Ringo challenges Wyatt and his brothers, Doc emerges and delivers what is perhaps the most iconic line in the film. This phrase means he is the man for the job, and he has come to answer Ringo's call for blood. This line is later said again when Doc confronts Ringo for the last time. Well... I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Number two. The fight between Doc Holliday and Johnny Ringo, played by Alien star Michael Bean, was built up for most of the movie. When Doc finally confronts Ringo when he was expecting Wyatt Earp, he is met with the above line. Ringo has been shown to be a fearless yet reckless foe throughout the film. Ringo even tries to talk Doc into leaving as he knows the odds of Ringo being faster at the draw is slim. Doc is perhaps the only person that can actually scare Ringo. And this line shows that Doc not only knows this, but takes pride in it. Why, Johnny Ringo. You look like somebody just walked over your grave. Number three. When his brother is killed in cold blood, Wyatt seems to have given up life in Tombstone. He packs up his family and lets Curly Bill know he won, and Bill is less than sympathetic. Bill even sends two cowboys to ambush Wyatt on the train, but Wyatt, in turn, ambushes them and shoots one down. He lets the other live to deliver the message that he's coming for them, and hell is coming with him. Wyatt tried for the majority of the film to live a simple, non-violent life. When he is finally pushed to the breaking point, he delivers this spine-chilling line, letting the cowboy and the audience know that a beast was awoken. The following scene shows Wyatt and his men hunt down the cowboys, making good on the film's tagline that justice is coming. Run! Tell all the other curs the law is coming! You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! Number four. Curly Bill is one of the primary antagonists of the film, and fans love him. It is hard to make such a despicable character likable, but making him a snarky, arrogant presence is a step in the right direction. Throughout the film, Bill makes it his mission to take down the Earp brothers and show the town of Tombstone the cowboys are in charge. When the brothers are at their lowest and it seems Bill has won, all he says this sarcastic line in the face of a seemingly defeated Wyatt. This arrogant response makes the following scenes that much enjoyable to fans as Wyatt still has some tricks up his sleeve. I want you to know it's over. Well. Bye. You smell that, Bill? Number five. The iconic showdown scene in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is the staple used in similar scenes that followed. Tombstone has a similar scene when Doc Holliday confronts Ringo. The tension between the two famed gunslingers slowly built and came to a head when Doc nonchalantly said this line, taunting Ringo to make the first move. This showdown was built up ever since the two first met in a bar, and they showcased how fast each one is. The audience knew this was anyone's game, and the scene relishes this fact and uses this line to let them know who has the upper hand.
Bucks, they win. Number 6. Earlier in the evening, Doc had been playing piano after a night of drinking and poker. He is interrupted when Wyatt finds himself surrounded by a group of cowboys wanting to free their leader who is accused of murder. Doc wanders into the street to help his friend when one of the cowboys refers to him as the drunk piano player and tells him he's so drunk he's probably seeing double. Never at a loss for words, the deadly shootist pulls out both pistols and remarks, I have two guns, one for each of you. And you, music lover, you're next. <laughs> drunk piano player. You're so drunk you can't hit nothing. In fact, you're probably seeing double. I have two guns, one for each of you. Number 7. Johnny Ringo is shown to be a force to be reckoned with. When members of his cowboy gang are shot down courtesy of Wyatt and company, he does not take it well. Johnny gets incredibly drunk and confronts Wyatt in the streets of Tombstone, using this quote to let him know exactly what his intentions are. Thankfully, Curly Bill pulls the inebriated Ringo aside before he can do anything he will regret as Doc Holliday offers to play a game for blood with Ringo. In this state, Ringo wouldn't have stood a chance against Doc. This threat, while slurred, is one that would strike fear in the hearts of whoever is reviewing it, and coming from someone like Ringo, this goes double. I want your blood. And I want your soul. And I want them both right now. Number 8. When Wyatt Earp, played by Kurt Russell, is first introduced, fans learn that he has a violent past and wants to move on with his life. Wyatt's first glimpse into the man he used to be is when he enters a casino with a loud card dealer running out all the business named Johnny Tyler. Wyatt decides being the house dealer suits him and confronts the loudmouth Tyler. Tyler tries to intimidate Earp, but Wyatt gets in his face and says the line, daring the man to draw his weapon. To add insult to injury, Wyatt smacks the man multiple times in front of the very men Tyler was insulting, adding insult to injury. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Listen, mister, I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your... <laughs> I'm getting tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. Number nine. Doc Holliday is perhaps one of the most famous figures in the history of the Old West. While the man has been represented many times in film, Val Kilmer's performance remains to be one of the most iconic. Doc joins his friend Wyatt with little to no convincing when he and his brothers confront the cowboys at the OK Corral. Doc makes short work of many of the men, and when one informs him he is going to kill him, Doc simply approaches the man point-blank and gives the line with his arms spread. This display of fearlessness and even playfulness are some of the many reasons fans love the character so much. I got you now, you son of a bitch. Or Daisy, if you do. Number 10. Billy Clanton, played by future Spider-Man villain Thomas Hayden Church, is a smaller character in comparison to the others. His highlight is when he taunts a very drunk Doc Holliday while the latter is playing the piano. When Marshal Fred White is shot in the street, Wyatt causes a crowd of people to gather around. A group of cowboys, including Clanton, threatens Wyatt to let their leader go. Doc appears to help his friend, and Billy further taunts him with the above line, insinuating Holliday is too drunk to do anything. Regardless of the taunt, Clanton is clearly worried as he knows there is more to his piano player than meets the eye. You're next. <laughs> drunk piano player. You're so drunk you can't hit nothing. In fact, you're probably seeing double. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.